The most important scenes in your screenplay have a name. They are called inevitable scenes. So I'm gonna tell you what they are and I'm gonna give you three simple but effective questions to help you determine which of your scenes are inevitable. And at the end, I'll link a video that gives you four ways to rewrite a scene if you need to fix any of your inevitable scenes. Because if you screw up your inevitable scenes, it doesn't matter how good the rest of your script is, your script will feel unsatisfying to any reader and you'll get a pass. And you don't want to pass, do you? So what are inevitable scenes? And this isn't some cryptic thing or phrase. They are scenes that are literally inevitable. Scenes that must happen for your story to feel satisfying. But must happen for who? Or for what? And this is the part that trips up a lot of aspiring writers. Inevitable scenes are scenes that must happen for the audience. And if they don't happen, it feels like you, the storyteller, are not doing your job. At least that's what it feels like to the audience. When someone agrees to participate in your story, and in your case, the audience is first and foremost the reader who will be reading your screenplay, when that reader starts reading your script, you and they are entering into a contract of sorts. You're agreeing to do your job of a storyteller, and they are agreeing to play the role of a story participant. But story participants have expectations going in, and as the events in your script start to unfold, you end up promising things and setting up additional expectations, and you have to meet all of those expectations. And the big moments, the big swings, the pivotal parts of your story, the key character and story turns in your script, those tend to happen in these inevitable scenes. And at first you might think, well, that could be a lot of scenes, Jake, but it isn't. I mean, we're talking really like five or six scenes in a screenplay for a feature, maybe two or three for a TV pilot. And inevitable scenes actually have two criteria. They are scenes the audience expects to see, and they are scenes the story promises to the audience. So they are part of a contract you're making with the audience as a storyteller. And the audience is gonna look forward to those scenes. And when those scenes arrive, they better be stinking good. And if you don't know you're dealing with an inevitable scene when you're creating it, the scene may work on its own, but the audience has higher expectations for that moment or for that scene and it might fall flat because you didn't realize just how important that moment was. So you've got to know how to identify the inevitable scenes in your script. And these five or six scenes are crucial and must be executed well for a reader to feel like your script is a satisfying read. Now, of course, there are a lot of things that have to be working in your screenplay, but if you get everything else right and you screw this one up, it's not going to matter. A disappointing read is probably what the experience is gonna be for the reader. And if everything else is working and you nail these inevitable scenes, well, now the reader is going to have a satisfying experience with your script and that usually bodes well for you. So before you can make those scenes great, you need to identify them. You need to know which ones they are and they are different for every story. So it's not a formula. It's not like, okay, it's the first scene of the fourth sequence and that kind of stuff. That's just not how screenwriting works. You have to be able to identify what those scenes are in your script. And here are three simple questions you can ask to help you pinpoint what those scenes are for the story that you're telling. And the third one is probably the most important of the three. Now all three matter and they're all kind of interconnected, but don't skip Number three, question number one, what scenes does the story promise? Now, if you've been around this channel for any amount of time, you know that I prioritize story over storytelling first. Most of the problems with scripts are not in the storytelling. They are in the story and your story must be working. And if you wanna know more about story, grab my book, it is linked below. But the thing with story is as soon as events are set in motion, there are things that must happen in the story. There's no way around them. They are inevitable. And this one might make sense to you because this is the one where the protagonist and the antagonist usually meet. Like that's kind of an inevitable scene. It's gonna happen. And you might think that that's all I'm talking about or that I'm talking about just the big fight toward the end of the story and things like that. But most of the time, 
those characters, they actually meet before the final showdown. They have some kind of exchange. That is usually also an inevitable scene. So simply, you have to discern what are the moments that the story promises. I mean, if the moment just happens, okay, it's not an inevitable scene. If it's just something going along and this thing happens, okay, not inevitable. There needs to be something in the story pointing toward a future thing that is going to happen or a future moment where a crucial decision is gonna be made and these are story dependent. Now, it doesn't matter if you yourself as a storyteller are looking forward to writing that moment. That doesn't count. It's if the story is promising that moment. And if it is, you might have an inevitable scene in your script. Question number two. What scenes will the audience expect to see? If I'm going to see a movie where the main character is a superhero, then I'm expecting to see some superhero shenanigans. I'm expecting to see powers and abilities unique to that character. I'm expecting a heist in a heist movie. I'm expecting a fight in a war movie. I'm expecting a magical date in a rom-com. And you might sit there and think like, as you're watching a movie, like, okay, here comes the sappy scene, okay? And people like to make fun of those kind of moments. But if that scene were not there, it's now not a satisfying story. That is an inevitable scene. And I hear you in the back row there shouting, but that makes stories predictable, Jake. And I hear you. But predictability in a story is not about what will happen. It's about how it will happen. So I can, as a reader, as a member of the audience, expect that the Avengers are going to fight Thanos at some point. But if I don't know how that's going to go down, it's not predictable. I know what's going to happen, I just don't know how. And because I don't know how, it's not predictable. But aspiring writers often like to just chuck the baby out with the bathwater. You know, well, the audience will expect that scene, so I just decided to not have it to keep my script from being predictable. But now you've removed an inevitable scene and you're definitely making your script not predictable. You're actually making it bad and you're making it unsatisfying for the reader. You are writing stories to satisfy an audience. That's what you're supposed to be doing. So you have to give them what they expect. Just don't give it to them in the ways they expect it. You just have to do it in creative ways so that they can expect the what but they are surprised by the how. Question number three to determine if it's an inevitable scene or not. What are the scenes that your logline or title imply? So when someone comes to your movie, what are they expecting just right out of the gate? We haven't watched a thing. We haven't seen a single frame of the film. What are we expecting to see? What scenes are implied by the title and the logline. So if I have a movie title, The Death of Count Dracula, okay, what scenes immediately do you imagine as part of that story? Well, we probably gotta meet Count Dracula. Okay, that's gotta, gotta happen. There's possibly a good vampire killing battle of some kind. There's gotta be something going on. It might be small, might be a big, huge thing. I don't know, but there's going to be some kind of conflict like that. Perhaps the killer who's going to ultimately kill Count Dracula, we're going to meet them or a group of them or a team or something. And definitely Count Dracula's death. I mean, just the title alone gives us four inevitable scenes that the audience is going to expect to see. Those are inevitable scenes. And if those scenes aren't in the script, when you send me that script, if I'm reading it and I read that title, The Death of Count Dracula, and those scenes aren't there, okay, I'm gonna be dissatisfied when I read it. It doesn't matter how good everything else is. I'm expecting the inevitable scenes. They have to be there. So log lines and titles, yeah, they're kind of important. They imply the inevitable scenes that you're going to have to include in your script. And those scenes have to make sense for your story. The story has to promise those scenes in an organic way. And the audience will have a chance to look forward to those scenes. And hopefully you can see how all of these questions are integrated with one another. And maybe you need some help with writing scenes. And at the end, I'm gonna link a video about how to revise your scenes, four ways to do that. But if you're serious about learning the craft of screenwriting, you should consider getting on the fast track. I have a whole section in that course dedicated to writing scenes, including writing inevitable scenes. I have a section on character development 
development. There are tools for both story and storytelling, exercises you can use to practice both. It's like a graduate screenwriting degree packed into an online course that you can work at your own pace. Now there's a link below for that if you're interested in the screenwriting fast track. If you're serious about learning the craft, you will massively benefit from being on the fast track. And as promised, if you want some tips for how to revise your scenes, this video is another place to start. Don't forget about fun buttons and other links below that might be helpful to you. And when you tell a story, make your inevitable scenes great and tell a story that matters. See you later.